Hello and welcome to a very special Bitcoin trading video that I have for you today where we are going to be going through the infamous harmonic pattern here on the Bitcoin chart which has been dictating every single high and low of this market to the dollar for the past 30 days. It is extremely accurate and I'm going to be sharing with you the secrets of this getting into my mind that you are not going to see this type of content anywhere else. Nowhere else is ever going to show you this much accuracy and consistency over the past month. It is insanely amazing. Um, you know, sit back, relax, make some notes because yeah, this is, this is going to be good. I hope that you can have my energy flow through me to you in this video because I am truly one with these charts right now. It is, it's, it's quite outstanding. So obviously the harmonic that we've been trading here, we've finally actually come up and hit the harmonic target. Um, I want to play a video for you. Okay. And this is me talking about this harmonic. Okay. Let's, let's just, before I get into the harmonic and go through these secrets, it's going to be good. Let's just take a t 10 seconds out of the time and just play this clip. My harmonic still in play. This is obviously expecting higher prices harmonic. I, the reason why I don't want to cover this harmonic in this public video is because it's a little bit too um, perfect, I suppose. I'll, I'll show you this harmonic once it's actually played out. Okay, so once we've had the, the harmonic play out, I will show you this one. But I don't want to give it away publicly because, yeah, it's a little bit too good to give away, <laughs> to be honest. So, um, you know, I'm still after that. Uh, the group knows what harmonic is, but yeah. Harmonic. So that was that was me talking about the harmonic. Obviously, we're expecting higher prices. We're trading up for the higher prices and the higher targets still on the Bitcoin chart. And I was saying, obviously, that the 9,280 back then was obviously a really important support. So remember those levels as we work through this chart, knowing where we got the highs, knowing where we got the lows, and knowing where we were going after to complete the harmonic target, okay? Harmonics, how do we get harmonics? There are a series of time and there are a series of price targets, okay? So we can get a general idea of when the price is gonna move and also, you know, the levels and targets that you get from these prices. So let's, let's talk you through a step of the, a step of a time so you can truly understand how this came to fruition each step of the way. So as you will know, it all started back when we were originally, that was obviously coming off of your uh, monthly level. So we had monthly resistance. We had a naked point of control, 9,030. Okay, we were looking for the rise up, down, and then back up. As you all know, this is what then led you on to the start of the harmonic. Okay, looking for 9,587. So you can see each step of the way, literally God dear, how we are seeing rises, moves down, rises up. And how did that play out? We got the rise to the dollar where we were looking for. We hit the naked point of control, 9,030 within $5. And then we were looking for that rise back up to the upside, which is obviously, you know, when we were hitting that naked point of control, you're going CC to CC, you're looking up for 9,587. So you can see at this point moment in time, how you are seeing pivot, pivot, and pivot coming together to give the potential here of this harmonic pattern. Again, you are seeing how originally the 1.618 Fibonacci time gave you the exact low. And originally I was looking for the one Fibonacci time. In the end, this actually decreased to the 0 0.618 Fib time. Pretty insane that you're gonna see this in a second. But this was the original idea, okay? After seeing pivot one, pivot two, we're looking for the pivot three. There's no reason why we will not get this. And remember the context of this. I was the first person to be telling you, get ready for the short squeeze. We've come down to 9,065. Everybody has turned really, really, really bearish at support. Have a guess what's what's coming up. It's going to be a rise. We're going to, we're very likely to see this rise in price for the harmonic. And what happens? Well, <laughs> let's see. Let's keep going along with the steps that we saw here. So this was yesterday. Okay, so this was last night for me. And this is obviously the massive bonus of having real time updates from myself. Because as you can see, there are some people that are on the edge. You know, although I have my plan set in place, I know what I'm doing. There's obviously still people trading their own plans. But you know, you can see people looking for shorts. But my words exactly, I'm not shorting this internal rise. That was at that was literally at um, 10 past seven. So if we go to 10 past seven yesterday on the charts, you will see this is before any big rise in price. Okay. So while we were basically just hovering down sideways, we had not taken any highs. We were not, you know, it was before any rise in price. So this is where people start getting on edge. You know, people are too interested in shorting. But when you can recognize, firstly, when you can recognize the sign that this is not a good short, okay? And that's, don't get me wrong, I normally will trade the range. And I've said it before, haven't I? Trade the range until it breaks. But guess what? This is now recognizing the signs that you're going to break out of that range before it even happens. And, you know, 
evidence in the pudding right here of, you know, I'm saying to everyone, I'm not shorting this rise internally. I, while we hold 9280, I still lean bullish. And obviously, we're, you know, big focus on the harmonic target that we had there, which is obviously um, now being hit, by the way. Um, and then I was also at being asked questions about, do I think this is a possibility of us coming down in price? And really clearly just stating to everybody, um, you know, I actually don't feel that, that we are going to get that play out because what we had yesterday was a reaccumulation pattern. So this is impulse. OK, we bounced off that monthly, you know, to the exact dollar and then we got the drawdown and this drawdown was actually reaccumulation. So it's almost like a shakeout. So you get people really scared, you get people starting to short, and basically it's a, it's a little bit of a shakeout reaccumulation to then get the next wave up. That's exactly what I recognised. Again, this was before the move happened, okay? And, you know, moments later, we start to get that rise in price. Really, really nice. Obviously, I had compounded on, okay, from no, recognising that 9,280 was the really important support. The actual low that we formed yesterday was obviously 9,290. That was not taken out, not breached. So 9,280 remained intact. As you know, that was the level that I was saying to everybody, as long as that holds, we're going for that harmonic. And then throughout the day, I became more and more confident that this was the case. Recognised it was not a good time to even attempt to short those highs with the same, you get Ethereum absolutely smashing through everything, you know, going through all resistances, you get Bitcoin then following. It was just insane day of trading, it really was. Uh, but then you're starting to come over to this, okay? And I'll share with you these two print screens. And as you can see, we were coming up. And again, this is in the time, not delayed, no delays. We were coming up in the time. And I had not hit my take profit at this point. And as you can see, price was bouncing off 9,524. Here's the zoomed in version. So price was coming up to around this region that I was waiting for. But at this moment in time, I had not hit my take profit because I was still recognizing. And this is where you start to look at order flow. You look at, start to look at the order book. And this is how you recognize strength. But I was recognizing the strength here. We were coming up to the 0 0.18, 0 0.618 Fibonacci time. Obviously, the low was put in at the 1.618. Here we're seeing the 0 0.618 coming together. Didn't hit the exact time on this one, but it was extremely close. Um, you can see almost to the hour where we were getting it actually on the 0 0.618. So this was a little bit quicker than the 1 to 1 extension, but 0 0.618 still a pivotal time to be aware of. As you can see, that's coming up to our target of 9,587. But at this moment in time, I was just posting the chart. I had not given an update of my take profit being hit because for me, I was still, ex you know, recognizing the signs we were going to get that next push. Then I give the update of the take profit being hit. That is the take profit being hit off of $3 of the high. My target that I was giving to everybody was 9,587. Okay, the high that was put in was 9,584. That is three dollars from the high three dollars from the high guess what we always front run if i give a target you always front run the target because there's a lot of people obviously trading it um and that is that is from start to finish that is from start to finish the harmonic there uh just absolute perfection you can see how it dictated the highs the lows okay then coming up to the high absolute perfection before getting that bit of a drawdown and uh, if we like, let me just load this up on the real chart that we're seeing now. So if we add on the harmonic, okay, so here we are trading with those harmonics. Again, it dictated the highs, the lows, and the highs there. And then when we add the confluence, obviously, of the local channel that we were trading, as we all know, we had the confluence here of the monthly, 9,445, acting as resistance. We got it to the dollar resistance yesterday. I was then recognizing 9,280 as your critical support that must not be lost. We come down to 8,290, held that as support, times 100 long, bang, there we go, up to the target. It, 9,587. From there, you get over, you know, about a hundred dollar actual pullback off of that level. Insanely accurate on the Fibonacci time there coming together. On top of that, you obviously have your local, you know, you had your local support 9,065 down at those lows. We can now say above us, we have 9,800 as a resistance. Okay. So really, I'm going to say 9,600 as your next level to 9,800, okay? And then obviously as support right now, you can see it right there in front of you, the support 9,445. So you're stuck now, resistance above you, support below you, and then you've got now almost now another little range to be trading. But, uh, you know, the star of the show, the star literally of this show is that harmonic pattern. It has dictated every single pivot of this market. Each high and each low of this market the past 30 days has been influential from the harmonic okay it's all come together it's given us the target and that's what you call having a plan executing the plan putting money where your mouth is and just making a lot of money overnight you know it's beautiful it really really is but now now that's obviously hit target are we still able to push up higher the answer is yes obviously you can still push up higher from here that's why i'm saying 
be aware of your next regions of, of resistance, 9,600 to 9,800 is your next, uh, you know, targets to the upside. Targets to the downside, if you are now bearish at this moment in time, I would say you're looking at around 9,400, okay? So you've got your importance, you know, important support. And really simply, you can just say something like this, resistance, resistance, you know, that's where you would naturally expect your first support. <laughs> Bitcoin doesn't always respect this so well, okay? So you can see drops down through this level to grab some liquidity, by the way. But, uh, you know, that's the region that you'd be looking at, or that, that I'd say for this public video, 9,400 region of support. You're looking at around 9,600 region as your next resistance, okay? Locally here, you do have a really nice channel. Shall I share this? Yeah, no, why not? Let's put on this channel that I'm trading at the moment. So this has actually just dictated the high again once more. So pivot low, pivot low to pivot high. Okay, you can see from the lows, the midpoints to the lows to the lows, up to the high right there. We're coming back down to the midpoint. So there's the local channel uh, that we're trading. And so this is really, really, really nice. I mean... Yeah, everything come together on that harmonic. I hope, <laughs> hope that you've enjoyed me sharing for you, you talking you through that because I'll be honest, I did I really did not want to share that one publicly before it happened because firstly I was so confident in it happening. And secondly, yeah, I must admit it's a bit of a too good one. It was just too good to actually share. So obviously I shared it to the group. And uh, yeah, waking up to a lot, a lot of really nice comments of appreciation and people saying thank you, my bank account my bank account thanks you what a trade it was and it obviously was amazing uh, so yeah that's the harmonic that's the i've just shown you the little range that i'm currently trading i've then given you the next resistance region 9600 to support 9400 you then got the internal range to be trading that's what i'm doing right now simple as that obviously you got this really big high term frame target you can still push on higher and you can still obviously come down lower here what we're trading right now is that internal little channel that i just showed you and obviously the break from this is going to help us dictate whether we're going to be pushing up to that next higher level or on our next higher target or whether we will actually drop down from here uh, if you want some more real you know real in depth updates then you know we've obviously got a service for that but that's what i wanted to talk you through in this video and um, <laughs> guess i'll end with this <laughs> It's pretty funny, isn't it? I was saying to my team, obviously expecting the higher prices. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong when I give these targets and prices. But what's the likelihood? When, when was the last time that you really saw me make an incorrect call? And that's why I can have this high confidence. Because th there's obviously a difference between having an ego and then actually having the evidence and proof to back up every single trade and call that you make. It's just, yeah, that was insane, wasn't it? Once again, expecting those higher prices. Where am I wrong? Wasn't wrong. We hit the targets. We come back up. And uh, that's uh, that's trading the plan. So obviously, I still have my plan. I still know where I'm going with this next next, next aspect of the plan. Um, but yeah, I don't really like want to go through so much detail in this video. If I'm honest with you, that's that's for the group. But um, yeah, I think I've given you enough in this video. I've shown you like a literal literal just market maker moving this market. We've seen that pivots to the absolute dollar, to the absolute dollar on the way up there off that monthly, coming down within $10 of the low yesterday, and then literally giving you in that video, I'm expecting higher prices. I'm trading for the harmonic. We got the harmonic within $3 of the high. Absolutely amazing. Dictating the whole of the Bitcoin market there. Whole of the Bitcoin market. There would have been nobody, nobody, nobody else in the whole of this space that gave you this one. That was special. That was amazing. And it all came together like absolute perfection really pff, yeah insane amazing trading i made a lot of money off of that move yesterday so i'm pretty content um and you know what uh i i don't want to be the guy that comes across as 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 such such a egotistical guy so you know what i'll be nice if you want to leave leave a comment down below of your bitcoin address and i will happily give away a bitcoin in this video so just leave your leave your address down below i'll pick I don't know, I suppose two people and send 0 0.5 Bitcoin to two random people in the comments, you know, I'm more than happy to do that. So there's me giving back to you as we are, yeah, <laughs> I sometimes randomly do this, just instinctively start to do a giveaway as I've given away lots of memberships before, lots of different things when we've done a good trade. I've done an amazing trade right here. I'm happy. I want to share that. So yeah, you know what? Comment your Bitcoin address down below and I'll I'll happily give away to 0.5 Bitcoin to two random people. Uh, so there you go. And obviously this is in, you know, what we have coming up in one week's time is the 200 Bitcoin competition. And I'm telling you this right now, I'm going to be winning the 200 Bitcoin. And this is obviously shared between everybody and the team. So absolutely, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Let's just put it like that. I have no, no doubt at all that we are going to win this. If you want to join the Chart Champions team to win 200 Bitcoin, who wouldn't? Then obviously 
you can come across to the champ champions team okay and i will be live trading this i'm literally going to be giving the signal calls of entry stop loss and target the exact way that i'm going to be trading that's going to be given on live stream to the champions i mean <laughs> It's literally, it's literally free money. It, let's be honest, it's pretty much free money. So uh, <laughs> I'm more than happy in this video. I hope that you've appreciated me talking you through that harmonic, okay? That's content you're not going to see anywhere else. You're not, you're just not going to, you're just not going to see it. You know, let's be honest. I'm the champion of these charts. I absolutely love it. And yes, we all know I got the ego, but I can back it up every step of the way. Nobody's trading like I am. So pff, there we go. I'm, uh, I'm loving it at the moment. Absolutely loving it. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've taken it the right way of studying, understanding each way of the thought process. Why I was expecting the rises, why I was expecting the drops, why I was expecting the rises. Obviously here, it was all to do with the emotion science psychology trading against the market, the rise to get people a little bit bullish, trapping them, getting the drop down to get them all into shorts, and then obviously trapping those shorts for the short squeeze to the rise up, to the harmonic. Every step of the way, we've just absolutely nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. Perfect trading. Um, yeah, more than content, more than happy, and... Uh, yeah, onto the next trade now, to be honest. Onto the next trade. This is where you have to remain calm. You have to remain at the end of the day. I'm going to trade the charts. I'm not going to get euphoric. I'm just going to keep on taking these trades every day, you know, killing it. So, yeah, there you go, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, yeah. I'll see you over in the Chart Champions group if you want to get those updates. Why would you not want to get those updates? I mean, literally pff, nailed it. Absolutely nailed that yesterday. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Have a brilliant day. Bye.